maybe some aches and pains, but everybody's pretty much healthy, yeah. Now that hopefully all this is behind you all, how nuts has the last week been with all the sickness? It's been, it's been tough. It's actually, it's just weird, really, for most of us, just seeing all the vomit and er knowing everybody's doing all that stuff. So, I mean, I was one who was personally sick, so it was, it was hard just because, you know, you wanted to play, but your, your sickness, you, I mean, there's not much you could really do. So, um, it's just good being healthy and being ready to go and just un understand that this regional is a big regional and we got to be ready to play. Help me with the mileage. How close are you going to home? Um, I don't know exact miles, but I'm about 45 minutes out, right up, right up 95, not far. So let's put this way: you would have your own cheering section. <laughs> yeah, there'll be there'll be a lot of people here, but I mean, all the tickets sold out, so we're just using tickets from teammates. They were sold out early uh, Tuesday or Mo Wednesday morning, so um, it was hard to actually get tickets, but we'll have a lot of people here. If you could get everybody, in, what would you guess how many people would like to see you? Um, at last year, Rhode Island had about 70, but it's a little closer, so I probably have close to 80. Wow. I, yeah, so. That's a lot of folks. Yeah, I mean, because I'm not far. I got family both sides going up uh, north and going down towards New York, so it'd be a mixture of a lot of people. So. Uh, how do you stop that young lady from Delaware? was pretty good. Uh, I think we just got to play hard. I mean, she's a great player. She's going to get the points that she's going to get. Um, we just have to focus on the people around her that support her really well. I think they go um, under scene a lot of times, but they really support her just as much as um, she supports their program. Um, they play real big. They play for her, and so I think it's not going. Our focus doesn't necessarily need to be on stopping her, but stopping their team as a whole. Smart said it's no big deal potentially facing you down down the road. It is what it is. Yeah, well, I mean, she got different opinions because she had a whole different um, route than us. I mean, she came from there. Um, but they're a great team also. I mean, they're a great program. They're a prestigious program, and they always come to compete. That's one thing that we always respected about them, that they're always ready to play. They always play hard. So, um, But I think having that game last year and having a lot of us back is really going to help our motivation if we uh, make it to that game after even our focus are on Delaware. So um, they're a great team, and we just have to know that we worked real hard throughout the year and understand our preparation and what we've done and just use that to our benefit. Nervous, excited, all the above? I think a little bit all the above. Uh, I think more excited than anything, just ready to play again um, since the sickness and just being ready to go as our team 100%. My guess is you're not surprised Matt's going to leave to become a head coach. Oh, not at all. I mean, um, he's – I've always appreciated and valued his knowledge of the game. Um, he's very smart. He knows a lot about the game. He's really been an asset to this team, and we're really going to miss him. Um, but I'm really happy for him and the accomplishment that he's had. I mean, he's real young. You don't get those opportunities very often at that young age. So um, we're really happy for him. For The whole team's happy for him, and we're excited to play him next year. <laughs>